Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Gods of War and today we have a pretty cool update to Infinite Warfare. So if you guys look here, we have a new section in the main menu in multiplayer for Infinite Warfare and that is contracts. If you click on it, you guys will see I already have completed them, but there are two of them active right now. They last an entire week. The first one is land 500 shots with the Wolverines and this will earn you 15,000 XP for your mission teams for Wolverines only. And then we also have another one for earning 15 headshots and that will give you a epic weapon hack. We also got some new things in the form of double XP tokens. I'll show you guys a picture of that right here. And the way that you guys get these is you get them through supply drops and you can activate them and it'll give your last game in the all double XP. It's pretty cool. They're they're new. I haven't got one yet, but I do want to get one. If you guys I'll open up my um epic weapon hack too i did complete the mission team i'll show you guys what i got from this for this video so here is the epic weapon hack oh we got the harbinger hey let's go so that is that we also have a couple more notes for the patches and i'm just going to go over some of these real quick and you guys will know i'll have a link in the description for the actual article and i'll have the patch notes all of them in the description as well but I'm going to go over some of the ones that I thought were important. We have a change for active camo visibility, which is now slightly more visible. We also have the KBS longbow and TF-141 inflict different amounts of damage, which is inconsistent when comparing the weapon damage stats for both weapons. That has been fixed. There's also a fix for kills made with energy weapons and fusion mags not tracking for the extended mags for Steach challenge as well as a fix for an issue when tracking kills for the Blood Anvil Ace mission team. There's also a fix for the time played column in the combat record barracks not displaying the unit of time. Carpet Bomb Challenge previously only tracked kills made by Scorchers. Progress may also now be obtained with the Trinity Rockets, Bombardments, Warden Stores, and Apexes. The fix for the countdown timer not appearing while in control of the RC8 and Cranked. There were also various map fixes. There's also a fix for an issue where players entering an infected match as a synaptic that don't look like regular, regular infected. That has also been fixed. There was a fix for yellow loading icon appearing in search and destroy when cod casting. We also have a fix for when you were firing from the hip with the VPR, the reticle wouldn't appear red and now it does. There were also multiple shockwave updates. So there is now increased non-lethal damage, slightly increased non-lethal radius of shockwaves performed from low and moderate heights, slightly increased lethal radius of the shockwave performance from moderate heights, and greatly increased lethal radius of shockwave performed from great heights. Also slide adjustments, they slightly reduced the maximum initial slide velocity. And last but not least in this update, we have adjusted search and destroy spawns on retaliation when defending. The defending spawns were moved forward to facilitate faster times to the bomb site. So that is all of the patch notes. I do have them in the description if you guys want to read any individual ones. That has been the update. We have contracts in Infinite Warfare, which is very cool. I'm interested to see where these are going to go. Hopefully we get daily ones because weekly ones are nice, but I did complete these in about 20 to 30 minutes, so I can't really do anything with them now. But they're cool in the game, and I'm glad that we are getting them. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Until next time, I'll see you guys later with some more Call of Duty content. Peace.